A lot of ice, the life, you know what I mean? The Migo lifestyle, the cost to be the boss. You dig what I'm saying? These culture trophies, you dig? Could you walk us through everything that you're wearing right now? The pieces you got? Well, actually, I don't have a lot of jewelry, but I got a couple pieces. So what are we talking about on this? Is this jewelry or is it like just everything? All right, where's my chains? Hey! Yo, it's all diamonds. You see this shit? Ladies and gentlemen, this one is my, my favorite piece right here. This big one right here because it's so big. I was addicted to jewelry. At one point in time, I was spending every check on diamonds. I feel like I wear jewelry so much, now I feel weird without it. Once you buy your first piece, you're always gonna want more. It shows that we've been places a bit, we've been somewhere. Yes, sir. When you wearing big diamonds, it's like a big fuck you to everybody. Yo, so can I have it like that? You got it like that. This series is about hip hop jewelry. It's an exploration of that subculture and the impact jewelry's had on hip hop and hip hop has had on jewelry. But bigger than that, it's, it's really a look at the American dream and it's uh, exploring our culture through the prism of jewelry. The American dream wasn't designed for everybody. For some of us, there was never time to build generational wealth. The playing field was never even. So when you're already behind, you're going to create your own symbols of success. Your own ways to show you got it. Your own ways of feeling the American dream. And that's exactly what we did.